Lena S. Higby was born on May 18, 1874 in Chatham, New Brunswick, Canada. She attended the New York Postgraduate Hospital in 1899 for her formal nurse training. After graduation, she worked as a nurse in the private sector. After the death of her husband, Marine Lieutenant Colonel John Henley Higby, in 1908, she completed postgraduate work at Fordham Hospital in New York City, where she gained knowledge and experience as a surgical nurse. On May 13, 1908, at the age of 36, Higby joined the newly established Navy Nurse Corps. Higby and the 19 other women who became the first nurses in the Navy were known as the Sacred Twenty. Higby served as the first chief nurse at Norfolk Naval Hospital, now called Naval Medical Center Portsmouth, in 1909, and in 1911 she became superintendent of the Navy Nurse Corps. During her time as superintendent, Higby lobbied for equal pay for the nurses as well as health care for military dependents. Her 14-year Navy career included World War I and dealing with the Spanish influenza epidemic. In 1915, while serving as superintendent, Higby started training hospital corpsmen. Her plan with the corpsmen was to teach basic nursing methods as well as to, in Higby's words, develop in the hearts and minds of these pupil nurses the principles of conscientious care of the sick. Due to Higby's initiative, there were enough corpsmen to support troops deployed to the combat zone. In addition to that, Higby advocated for nurses serving on ships. When the U.S. officially entered World War I in 1917, nurses served on the transport ships SS George Washington, SS Leviathan, and SS Imperator. The injuries seen by Higby's nurses were much more extreme compared to previous wars. The nurses dealt with wounds sustained from high-velocity machine gun rounds, shrapnel, exposure to poisonous gas, and what was referred to at the time as shell shock, now known as PTSD. Based on these encounters, Higby developed a school to better prepare nurses for warfare in the 20th century. This school, Vassar Training Camp, would become the first operational nurse training school. In 1920, Higby was awarded the Navy Cross for her leadership and devotion to duty during World War I and the influenza pandemic of 1918. She was the first living woman to receive this medal. Higby officially retired from the Navy in 1922. Lena Higby died on January 10, 1941. She is buried at Arlington National Cemetery beside her husband. In 1945, the destroyer USS Higby DD-806 was commissioned, which was the first U.S. warship named for a woman who had served in the Navy.